guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I'm going to welcome you back to Let's Play Mega Man Zero Two. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Last time we begun the game, and we arrived at the new Resistance base, thanks to Haporia. Huh, whatever. In any case, we reunited with Sile and all the others, and we also met Apizo. So, yeah. Now, before we continue on, um, I forgot to mention something in the last episode. We got a new part of the menu here. Oh, yeah, well, we also got the button settings and stuff, too. You can configure the buttons however you want. But, yeah, we got the new form system in this game. Basically, um, we can unlock several different forms in the game. Basically, what that means is, um, through every stage that you go in, you can go and unlock a new form after you're, well, you're done. So, I recommend getting these, um, these forms, uh, within these specific stages, because I don't, I'm not sure if you can grind these forms, um, outside of the, um, you know, outside of doing the mission the first go. So, basically, we have about... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine forms to get. The final form, however, is a bit more annoying to get because it allow because you have to find, evolve, and use every cyber up in the game. So, yeah, that's annoying. But basically, you will start off with your normal form at the start of the game. Um, your power, defense, and speed are basically well balanced at two each. Uh, but there are better forms. So, there you go. But in any case, let's continue on because we got some more stuff to show off today. In any case, huh? What's going on here? Epic, epic hair flip. Don't forget, viewers, take a drink every time a piezo flips his hair. <laughs> so, that's the Operation Righteous Strike. We are going to take advantage of the absence of X and thrust our forces, wink wink, <laughs> upon Neo Arcadia. Victory is in your hands for a better tomorrow for all Reploids! For our future! Feel my fury, bitch! Up the ass! For peace! <laughs> Woo! Now, epic hair flip. Why? It's you, Zero. We're now preparing for an operation. Unlike the past minor scale ones, which shall not be mentioned in, from Zero One, this operation will inflict a crushing blow to them. Once it succeeds, it'll boost the morale of the resistance. Neo Arcadia is not a sitting duck, dude. We should not carry out a frontal assault. We should gain time with guerrilla operations and wait for Sao to complete her research. Epic hair flip. Thank you for the advice. We are going to con continue our guerrilla operations, activities, whatever. We've gained strength, and we're ready to work it out by ourselves. Oh, is that so? So I guess you don't need my power then. Okay, good. I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, no, no. Epic hair flip. I'm sorry. I was too harsh. You think? <laughs> Needless to say, we still appreciate your cooperation. Um, will you help? Yeah, I'll help you. Thank you. Now, here's the current missions I'd like to ask of you. And as such, we got our selection of bosses, just like in every Mega Man game. Look at the monitor. Can you see them? They may not be much of a challenge for a legendary hero, but it would be very appreciated if you help us. Right. But in any case, before we go and, well, start the first mission, I actually want to go and get some, well, treasure! Unfortunately, we cannot go up to the, um, the floor, the fifth floor yet, because, well, it's still locked. Hey, Antoinette! Yeah, viewers, you remember her? She was, well, one of the, well, rep boys from the first game. Zero, I really wanted to see you. I asked you to stay with us. You lied to me! But I'll, I'll forgive you because you came back. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. You don't have to be so pissed off. I mean, come on. Huh. Take a chill pill, girl. No. But in case, yeah, Antoinette is actually a semi, well, she is a minor character in the Zero series. But keep her in mind for another game. Others? Yeah. You're new here. Welcome to the base, son. Uh, Anthony, don't you remember me? My, oh, not Anthony. Andrew. I can't even remember his name. If you have time, come to my place, which is basically here in the hallway. I'll tell you an interesting story. Yeah. What was your name, young man? Zero. You have the same name as that legendary Reploid. That's because I am the legendary Reploid. What are you, senile? Work hard and don't disgrace that hero's name. Uh, okay. You know what? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Like, you... Don't you... Don't you remember me? Yeah, he was in the first game. 
I don't get it. Whatever. But in any case, yeah, there aren't, um, some of these rooms are empty for now. But later on, yeah, yeah, we, we cannot go to the first floor yet. So yeah, the first and the, on um, the first and the fifth floors do have some, um, Cyber Elves tanks that we can collect. Yeah, y y yeah, those white tanks that we, um, got in the, um, intro stage. Yeah, those. But in any case, if we talk to the operators here, um, you, you can teleport to all the previous areas that you've unlocked throughout the game. The intro stage, the Sand Wilderness, you can go there and level up your weapons if you decided not to take my advice and use the weapons master code that I mentioned. So, you know, there you go. But in any case, let's go and take out our first stage here. Yes. Alright, but in any case, yeah, just like in every Mega Man game, we got our selection of bosses that we can go to in any order that we want. But there is a specific order that I recommend that you go in. First things first, Force of Dices, that's the stage I always start off with. Because this boss has no elemental weakness. In this mission, I'd like you to rescue our comrades. There are ruins known as Dices deep in the forest. Scout soldiers who went there to investigate have not returned yet. I'd like to send someone to rescue them, but considering our current state of preparations for the upcoming operations, we don't have a soldier available. I'm very sorry to bother you, but will you find and rescue them? <sighs> yes, I will play fetch. Mine as well. Mission accepted. And this is my favorite part of every mission in 0, 2 through 4 now. The operators. Ready? <laughs> Turn <Tell us> fly! <laughs> Uh, you'll get used to it, viewers. Good luck. And don't fuck it up. So, there you go. You'll get used to that, too. Hey, dude. Commander sent us here to investigate something called a baby elf. But we encountered the Neo-Arcanian army. My comrades are still somewhere in the forest. Please, save them, Zero. You got it, buddy. The ruins are beyond this forest. Use the portable trans server and rescue the resistance soldiers who were lost. Right. You got it, boss. Let's do it. Alright, now, now there is a specific form that I want to unlock in the stage. Now, in order to get this form, we need to kill 20 enemies with a jump slash. No cheap shots! So, yeah, basically, um, just jump like this and slash like that. That's a jump slash. That's what you want to do in order to, well, get that slash or get that form. So, basically, I'm going to be practicing this throughout this part of the stage here. So off screen, I'm going to practice on some of these bosses right here, and I'll be right back. Alrighty viewers, I'm back. Off screen, I did my 20 jump slashes. Now, hopefully I did it right, because there's a chance I might have fucked it up if I didn't, like, jump high enough or whatever. So, yeah, there's that too. Be careful with these guys. Those, oh, well, besides the bees, are the most annoying enemies in this forest. So, yeah. And oh yeah, those purple bees there, uh, well, they could explode! Ow, bitch. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, there are some hidden cyber elves in these trees here as well. So, you know, keep that in mind. Unfortunately for me, though, viewers, one thing that I forgot to do... Oh yeah, let's get this guy out of the way. Ah, there you go. But yeah, use the chain rod to um, attach to that enemy there. You can um, take away his shield. That's really important as well. So that way, take away the shield, they become very, very vulnerable. So, you know, there you go. But, uh, there you go. But yeah, one thing I forgot to do was I forgot to um, equip Cyber Elves. Yeah, talk to Sile, um, and you... You are also given the option not only to save your game with her, but of course, to equip Cyber Elves. That's what I forgot to do and show off last time. And forgot to do before I was dumb enough to come to the stage without them. Whoa! Uh, yeah, why am I <laughs> Well, I did kill him in the end, but why the fuck did I attack him with the chain rod? That was, that was dumb. Dumb! But yeah, this guy is a bit more annoying as well. One way to get away from, um, uh, get about, um, fighting him is to just take damage and then just go, <sighs> bitch. <laughs> no, take damage and go, bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Take damage and just go through him and just attack him that way. But, yeah, that's not going to work on all of these guys. Unless you get, like, super intensely lucky. But, yeah, once you manage to take out their shields, they are, like, like, butter. Literally butter. Not all the time, mind you, because if you do get hit, you know, there's that too. 
So yeah, basically, I had to be very, very careful in this stage. Because, yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't have my fucking, um... Uh, well, then again, now that I think about it, I didn't have any vitality on um, Nurse Elves anyway, so... Bitch! <sighs> I'm trying to get to that ledge over there. But, yeah, I'm scared of taking damage from that... That chain guy. Yeah. This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just... Ah, uh, yeah, see? I want to get up there because there's a cyber elf tank up there. Uh, yeah, you gotta be really careful with this. And really, really... <sighs> quick with your timing with this chain. Yeah, you see there? I was lucky enough to finally get to it. Alright. <sighs> and then you gotta, like, shimmy your way over there. Shimmy, shimmy! Fuck. Alright. Ow! Bitch! Ah, son of a bitch. This is not happening! There you go. Whoa! Oh, yeah, fuck that guy. Alright. Uh. Yeah, I need to get up there to get that, um, the cyber elf tank. But yeah, I can't jump from here. So, I'll do two more attempts. If I don't get it, then, well, I'll get it, um, well, off screen. I mean, it's not that hard to get to. You just have to, you know, use your timing well, wisely. But you can't be too low with the chain rod as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to, well, get to uh, the thing. Yeah, see? I fucked it up again. So, yeah, fuck it. Oh, well. But we do get a free, we do get a free cyber elf out of the deal. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Now, in this instance over here, if you are unable to get that guy's shield... The chain rod can't go through him if you're jumping through it, you know? So, yeah, use that to your advantage as well. Alright, now, before we continue on, let me go and equip the buster and go and equip the shield. Now, um, I do have my attack mode set to B, so that way my sub weapon is the R button. Yeah, it's simpler to do that because that way I don't have to use, like, a stupid button combination in order to, well, use my sub weapon. Yeah, because we got a mini boss here, Spike Trap. Now, I you I quit the shield just in case, because I I forgot if this guy has like projectiles outside of those little fucking reflecting laser beams of doom. Yeah, those those things. Ow, bitch. Careful. Yes, woohoo! And for defeating him, we get one of the best cyber elves in the game, Putic. Yeah. <sighs> you found the rear elf, Zero? Yes, I did, Sile. Yes, I did. Putic is very, very awesome. The nice thing about him... Oh, Putic starts off in baby form. Uh, but if you level him, level him up with energy crystals, which you can with Sile, uh, basically, he will, in essence, be able to nullify instant death from spikes. Oh, unlike Zero One, in which, you know, you take no damage from spikes at all, um, 0, 2, 3, 4, they done away with that. I, I guess they figured, oh, you know what, that's too broken. But, so, yeah, um, what they did here was, if I can get through this without dying, there you go. Whee! Free life up. Nice. But, yeah, what they did was, um, because if you recall, if you played 0, 1, there was a putic is kind of, um, cyber elf in that game, too. But... Not only did it prevent you from getting insta-killed from spikes, it also prevented you from even touching the spikes at all. It will put these kind of, like, these blocks and shit on the spikes, making it so you cannot get hit. See what I mean? Yeah, it was that broken. Zero, um, two through four, though, not so much. Now, you do prevent yourself from getting insta-killed <sighs> from the spikes. Unfortunately, you will still take damage. But you still take damage. Yeah, that Yu-Gi-Oh meme. Thank you, Mr. Zero. The ruins are full of traps. Please be careful. Right. Now, viewers, I am basically tiptoeing my way through here. Because without any kind of, like, cyber elf to heal me. Just in case I, you know, fuck up. Because like I said last time, I am very, very damage prone. Like, come on. Have you not seen my other Mega Man stuff on here? Yeah. Damage prone. So, yeah. And, oh, yeah, viewers, take take note, though. You must talk to all the soldiers here. Just looking at them is not enough. Talk to them, and, well, they will, well, teleport out the way. You know, and go back to the base. But there is something down here as well that I want to get. 
Now, I might die from getting this, but if I do, oh well, fuck it. Over here, you can get... Yay! Our first sub-tank in the game! That one is the easiest to get. The easiest sub-tank in the game to acquire. Ah, but yeah, you have to be very, very careful not to fall on the spikes. So yeah, use the chain rod, knock it down, use it as a stepping stone. That way you can prevent yourself from getting killed by the spikes. Now, here's another annoying instance here. Well, you can also destroy them and get some energy for your sub tanks. So, you know, take note of that as well. Which I might end up having to do before we get to the boss. Now, got a spike wall here. Have you guys played Mega Man X6? You have? Good! So then, you remember Gates' stages, right? Oh yeah, you should then! <laughs> Do you recall in Gates' stage, he had an uh, obstacle similar to this? In which case, you had like a crushing wall and stuff? Oh yeah, there was also one, I think, in um, Metal Shark Player stage as well, in, in X6. Oh yeah! These, well, there wasn't spikes, but these little conveyor um, thingies here, they could crush you to death! So, yeah, if you weren't quick enough, then, well, you die. So, you know, yeah, that, that happened. So, be careful. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I want to be careful here. Do not go into the boss gate yet. There you go, because I want to use that, that block there in order to walk on the spikes. But, yeah, you have to find every soldier here, because if you do not... You will not be able to, well, get full uh, credit for this mission. So, there you go. Be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back. I'm all set and ready to go. Now, let's take on our first Maverick boss of the game. And he's a... What the? A snake? With feet? Wow. Give that back. And your life may be spared. Oh, come on. He's a literal snake? Wow. Is it an elf? Hey, dude, what the fuck are you waiting for? Get the fuck out of here! Trying to get killed? Huh. Yes. This is a restricted area, even for us Neo Arcadians. You will never leave here alive! Yes. Dude, are you going to hiss at me all fight? Because it's time for a boss fight! Versus High Lake or Buckle! No, not the popcorn, um, or Buckle or Buckle. Or Oren Renbuckle, wherever the fuck the name of that popcorn is. Whoa! Get off me! Uh, bitch! Uh, huh. Yeah, don't you be touching me with your grimy hands. I don't know where those things have been. Yeah, probably went to areas that I did not even think to, well, think of. No way I want to think of! But in any case, be careful with High Leg. Whoa! Shit! Heal! Heal! Whoo! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Yeah, you can't fall into a pit here! So, be very careful fighting High Leg. <laughs> and oh yeah, um, since I'm in um, rank S form, he can use his special attacks as well. That is if I don't kill him quick enough. Whoa! Ah. Yeah, that, um, that laser beam? That's one of his, that's his EX skill. No, if only that baby elf wasn't stolen. I could have easily destroyed that nameless soldier. <sighs> Hiss yourself to hell, bitch. Bye-bye! Snake Eater! <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Oh, yeah. But in any case, yay! We managed to get through that mission without dying! Awesome. And for completing that stage, we get High Lake Orbuckle's EX skill. If you have level A or level S, you get the laser shot. Awesome. And for doing my grinding there, if you've got 20 jump slashes in, you get the rise form! Nice! Nice, nice, nice. What's going on? Huh? <gasps> Alex! Hey, dude! It's been a long time, Zero. Alex! I can no longer rest. Both baby elves have awakened. The baby elves are still children. They cry for their mother as they tremble from the loneliness. Huh? What's your point, X? The baby elves would do anything to reunite with their mother, stir the human's mind to bring chaos. It's all to meet their mother, the dark elf. The dark elf that I sealed. Wait, what? Baby elves? Dark elf? Wait, X! The dark elf. Huh. Whatever. Let's get out of here. 
What did X mean by, well, Dark Elf? I don't get it. I wonder if that has any bearing into the plot. Well, if X said it, then it must. So, yeah. But at least X is doing well. We didn't... Well, we saw him at the end of Zero One, though. He was that cyber elf that helped helped us out. He even gave us our, um, our Z-Saber at the start of Zero One. So, you know, yeah. But in any case, once you defeat the first mission, I think we can now get access to the, um, level 1 and level 5 parts of the Resistance space. But in any case, you can also access Sile's computer here. And you can also look up information on some, like, bosses or whatnot. It's, it's kind of pointless. But you notice, Sile has two elves now. That elf that we recovered from High Lake Stage. Yeah, those are the baby elves that X mentioned. But what are they? What does it mean by Dark Elf? Are they... You know what? I don't get it. It's too much for my brain to process. But yeah, talk to his, um, Sile here. Ask about Cyber Elves. And, well, she will allow you to download Cyber Elves as well as feed them. So yeah, basically... Um, yeah, ask her about the elves, you can go to feed. Now, basically, Putic, I'm going to be leveling him up off screen. Basically, feed the cyber elf the requisite number of, of E-crystals, e and they level up, basically. Putic has like three forms, his base, secondary form, which is this one, and the final form. So, you know, there you go. Just make sure you have the E-crystals for that. So off screen, I'm going to do all that. And oh yeah, we got our first level A hacker cyber elf, which will allow you to go to level A for a mission. But in any case, what the X mean by the dark elf? What is it? Well, you have to find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Zero Two. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids from me. Hit the bell to stay notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day. Smell you later.